Mexico with some awesome families. We got Ohana Adventure, Woo! the Sky Fam, and we are going. Whoa! I better sit We're down. Gonna sit down is what you're gonna do. We are going to Chichen Itza. We've this been there right. before. We did a 3 a.m. challenge there four years ago. We just got to Chichen Itza. This is one of the most spectacular places on earth. There is the big pyramid right there. This thing is awesome. Are you guys excited to be here? Woo! Ninja Mommy and I have actually been up on top 15 years ago, and they don't really let people do that anymore, unfortunately. So sorry, sorry guys. guys. Well, let's go look at it. Come on. Let's go. Hands up, hands up, smiling. Look at me, look at me. Okay. Uh, okay. Hey, okay. your phone is filming. Woo. This is one of the structures here. They've got lots of awesome art inside. Check out the sculpture and the carvings. These things are very intricate. And something that a lot of people don't see in here, there's still paint. It has lasted over 1,100 years. This place was rediscovered in the late 1800s. And at that time, it was completely covered over with jungle. So they had to remove a bunch of things and excavate a lot of stuff and even put some stuff back together that had kind of crumbled. They've restored some of the original steps. You can see back here where they used to climb up the steps in order to watch the game from up above. There's the uh, serpent. There's another one right by Ashton's head. Watch out! <laughs> Anyone notice how steep these stairs are? They're very steep and very narrow. You can see they didn't have enough stones to finish the whole thing. A lot of times people would come and take the stones and use them to build other buildings. So even today, there may be old Spanish buildings that are built using these stones. That is crazy. This is an ancient sports court. Do you see that circle hoop thing? They had to get a seven pound ball through that hoop without using their hands or their feet. Check this out. There's a man. There's a knife in his hand. There's a head and a body. Quite terrifying. You can see there's six other players. I've been told that they actually sacrificed the winner. He said there's a pile of skulls over here. Great! Of the players. So I just found out it was a seven pound ball they used. So it was breaking people's ribs when they'd miss, all sorts of crazy stuff. That's heavy! Yeah, that, that sounds like a difficult so sport. I don't know if I'd be able to do okay. it. Fun sport. Very dangerous. I'm surprised the wings are still. And they're probably super heavy. That's some impressive building work. There's 350 skulls in there. Either the winners or the losers. We're not sure. Lots of mystery still yet to discover. Seven years ago, they discovered that there was more ruins underneath the ground. So they excavated this part right here. So it's still in its original condition when they found it in the late 1800s. I'm thinking this is the perfect place to announce Series 3 Ninja Balls. This is the Turbo Series. Check it out, Turbo Brighton. We've got a Turbo Paxton. Oh, we got that Elemental Ashton. Oh, yeah. Look at him with that, that fireball. Sweet. And the Elemental Peyton Whoa. with her wind staff. This is so cool. Oh yeah, you guys gotta check these out. These are our best ones yet. Check them out at Amazon and Target. They're Go, awesome. Do it. They call this the observatory because it looks like a giant modern observatory where you have a telescope sticking out to observe the stars. Pretty awesome architecture. We found some Mayan warriors. What's up guys? Hey. Don't even ask how much something costs if you're not serious about getting it. Because I asked and then I was like, oh, okay, I'll come back later, I'll think about it. He's like, no, he was like wrapping it up before I even like said I would pay for it. Bring it to me, I'm like, oh. I started walking away and he dropped the price by like 15 bucks. I'm like, fine, I'll get it. They you couldn't say no. So you guys just missed it. Ninja Daddy over here just started crying, right? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It's not too spicy for me, I can handle it. Oh my goodness. This is some good Mexican food. We're here in Mexico. I'm handling it just fine. I'm just hot today. And I think I have a little bit of allergies. That's it. I've never seen him cry because of spice. Ninja Daddy likes spicy. We have had so many crazy fun days of travel so far. And now we are on our way to Snow Tape from Chichen Itza. Hi, honey. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, no, he's up. We've been exploring Chichen Itza and just found a secret cenote. Nobody else is here. Whoa, check it out. This is it's actually so amazing. Check it out. This is so crazy. We're the only ones here. Epic. The kids are jumping off that platform. Yeah. That's cool. Everyone's like so surprised. Ashton, what do you think about this place? This place is sick. I'm going to go jump in. What do you think about this? Yeah, yeah, this is insane. We are in the middle of this epic cenote. These things are all over this part of Mexico. This is filled with fresh water. It's about 60 feet to the opening up there, maybe more. That's high. Right now, the kids are all jumping from this platform over here doing some flips and stuff. Let's go, Paxton! Nice one, Brighton. 
pretty, Ashen. Very fancy. Yeah, Kason. Yeah. That one scares me so bad. I hate when they do the fake out. Ninja Daddy. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do a flip off this platform. I hope I don't face plant. Oh, that's such gorgeous water. Ooh, I didn't face that, but I hit my feet kind of hard. Okay, Peyton is about to do a backflip, and she's like super nervous. She's gonna hit her head. So here she goes. Oh, no problem. It was pretty. Oh, why is Barbara torturing the children? Whoa. Hey, girl. How is it? I found a nut. I found a nut, actually. Oh, there it goes. Right in the water. Kason's walking across the rope. Wow. Good job. There's a little fish living in the sinkhole in here. Big guy down there. Check it out. The water is so clear. What do you think, Brian? It's awesome. How'd that belly flop feel? Oh, so good. I'm going for a deep dive. I'm not sure how deep this cenote is. I'm coming too. Here we go. went so deep, I'm not sure how deep. I don't think Brighton's ever dove that deep before. That was like over 40 feet. So I started going up, I'm like, oh man, how deep am I? <laughs> I just kept going up. I heard the GoPro beep and I think it reached its depth limit and it turned off. That's crazy, I'm super impressed with Brighton. That's hard. Nice job. Yeah. Because this is how Ninja Daddy does when he gets out of the water. Oh, you guys didn't see, but he uh, shoved everyone no. out of the water. <laughs> Okay, don't talk to your siblings that way. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for being.